This year, I turned 65, and Mount Richardson was to become the last of our 65 summits in 2021. The first part of the trail was not very scenic, because it's an access road through the Lake Louise ski area. Seeing so much snow on the peaks ahead did cause us some concern. Skokie Lodge is where a certain heir to the throne spent his honeymoon, but we weren't going that far today. After walking through some lovely stands of alpine larches, we got our first glimpse of our destination, the snowiest peak on the horizon. Mount Richardson is a summit we have never attempted before, so we didn't want to waste too much time getting there, in case there was more difficulties than we thought. On the left, we could see there wasn't much snow on the access ridge, but we were seeing lots of snow at the top, and we didn't know if that was a good or bad thing. Below Mount Richardson is the beautiful hidden lake, a popular destination for casual hikers, but we had to keep going. We got nice views of Hidden Lake behind us as we are ascending the steep access ridge. Hidden Lake got smaller and smaller the higher it went. Mountain winds are funny. We thought we would be protected from the wind by the circle of mountains around us, but it got windier and colder as we continued our climb up the access ridge. The ridge to our summit was strewn with boulders and featured some awesome outcrops of rock. We managed to find a way through them before we encountered our first patches of deeper snow. A certain amount of snow can be a good thing because it can make walking over some terrain easier than in the summer. But you don't want the snow to start moving. Luckily, Beyond the access ridge, there didn't seem to be too much snow at a high angle, as we were 99% sure we were safe. While we were safe on the snow, the wind was buffeting us all the way to the top. Hidden Lake was looking mighty small by now. So this is my last victory wave for the project to summit 65 times in the year I turned 65. I couldn't have done it without my husband Larry, and it was a wonderful thing to experience so many stunning views and vistas with him. There's Larry in my last spinny pano. Coming up behind me in the distance is a little turquoise dot called Lake Louise. There it is. Mount Richardson's summit is large, but we didn't want to stray too far. It was fascinating seeing Lake Louise from this angle. With our zoom on max, we could make out the fancy hotel on its shore. Another thing we saw below us was an old cabin we planned on visiting on the way back to the car. The wind had not relented, but we were fired up and ready to descend, very thrilled to have summited Mount Richardson's 3,000 meter peak on a snowy but safe route. The snow was actually perfect, deep enough to soften our steps but not too deep to slow us down. On the way back, I spotted this odd-shaped little snowboarder. In no time, we were off the ridge, out of the snow, and back at Hidden Lake. Some birds had arrived and seemed to be enjoying themselves. Below Hidden Lake, we even saw some yellow wildflowers still in bloom and a gorgeous little spruce grouse, not too concerned about us. What a beauty. Here's the cabin we saw from the summit. It's called Halfway Hut. It's open, and you can go in and wave goodbye from the window like we did. We'll end with our 65th summit project completed, and with rear views from the car of the Rocky Mountains behind us. <laughs>